Hi, Skip Schumacher, St. Louis Cardinals, second base, and I'm showing you how to turn a double play. Depending on the runner, you always want to adjust on the speed of the runner. So sometimes I go a little farther in. If it's a bigger guy, I want to give myself some space because he does hit the ball a little bit harder than maybe a leadoff hitter. So when you feel the ball, you usually are going like this, going around it toward the bag. But when it's a double play, you're actually going around it this way to have momentum to feed it. So I'm going to flip a couple. I'm also going to feel the ball regular and pivot. Sometimes you don't have time to do this. If so you need to be a little more quick, but you really want to concentrate on catching the ball and giving a good feed because the double play is turned with a good feed. If you don't have a good feed, you have no chance. I want to get here and pivot and, and throw over the top. I never want to throw down here because then the ball will start doing that. So every time I get it, I want to throw it this way every single time. So catch right here, right to your waist and throw it over the top. This one's going to be a flip and on the flip, I'm separating every single time. I also want to have momentum to the bag. So when I catch, I want to catch and plant my right foot at the same time. That gets a little bit advanced, but you want to have momentum, catch, and separate so that the shortstop sees the ball every single time. You start doing this, he doesn't know where it's at. So everything, every, a double play is rhythm, timing, rhythm, rhythm. It's almost. It's not, it's not like a dance because I'm not a good dancer, but it's almost like boom, boom. You want to go boom, boom every single time. Catch, plant, and throw. Ball to my left, I'm usually going to do a reverse pivot. So you never want to catch a ball like out here. You want to concentrate on catching the ball in front of your foot. But if it does take a, ball, if it does take a bad hop, then you end up doing this. But you don't want to try to catch it behind you. You just want to catch it here, and then it's a real quick pivot with your right foot and throw. You don't want to take too many more steps and do one of these things because you'll never turn. You'll never turn it. So <clears throat> catch, right foot, and again, it's always over the top. You start doing this stuff, you'll never get a good feed. I'm catching it in front, right foot, and throw. One more. Catch in front of the foot. The speed of the runner dictates the double play. So you try to get that out first. That's the, that's the number one out you want to get because he's in scoring position. So if you fumble it a little bit, that's fine. Just anticipate on making a good throw here, but know the speed of the runner on both ways. Yeah.